Hello, and welcome to a look at a VCV rack module I recently made. If you don't know, VCV rack is a DAW for modular synthesis. Recently came out, this is version 0 0.4. VCV rack is free and open source, which is pretty sweet. And you can make modules yourself, which I did. So I made an open source module. You're free to look at the source and, of course, fork it and do whatever you want with it. But here it is. It is a 2D grid sequencer inspired by Rene, but I don't have a Rene. Also, there's another guy, um, JW Modules, that came out with a grid sequencer, but I didn't look at his source. He released his while I was working on mine. We'll ignore that one. I started with the Fundamentals um, Sequencer 3 and kind of deleted most of the UI, except the kind of the corner piece. That's exactly the same, kind of this piece right here. So here we have control voltage, X, Y, and X or Y. So let's hook this thing up and we'll take a listen. So over here I have a very simple patch. I have my audio device, which audio signal one and two is being routed from a VCA. And that's being controlled by a VCO as well as an ADSR. So we're just gonna simply hook up my control voltage to my VCO and my X or Y gate to my ADSR. And then we'll hear it's clicking because all the pitches are not set. Now you can manually, of course, take a bunch of time and like do this, or you can right click. You can click randomize, which will randomize all the UI, which I don't really like, or you can do these three randomize that I built. So randomize pitch is a good one. So what this will do is we'll randomize just this these pitch knobs within a certain range. So every time you click it, it'll choose a starting point and then in a small range, it'll randomize all the knobs in that range. Kind of gives it a little bit more melody. So this plays in this sequence. Over here you have a pattern, so you can choose which pattern. And then there's three pages. There's a gate UI, a skip UI, and a pitch. So three pages of UI. Um, Let's go through the patterns real quick. So let's speed up the clock. So pattern one is just playing that way, as you can see. Pattern two, playing backwards. Pattern three, it's a ping pong back and forth. Pattern four is a snake. Pattern five is a reverse snake. Pattern six, what is this one? I think this is a backwards reverse snake, I don't know. Pattern seven is a ping pong snake. I guess I was obsessed with snakes when I made these patterns. And pattern eight's a spiral. Very exciting. You can control this uh, pattern, pattern from a uh, CB as well. So you can hook up an LFO to slowly control the pattern if you wish to. Um, back over here, you have two other pages you can play with the gate pattern that basically says should I play the note or not so let's turn off all but so you can kind of set up a beat so here you can see that only these two two columns are firing so if you do like something like this you'll hear the beat which is sweet and that's what gate does so it kind of turns off the note in that section skip just kind of skips it so let's skip here and go to pattern eight. So we're gonna skip the top row. So now we're back on the spiral, but the spiral is basically just not even, it's ignoring this top row. So it's just playing these. And of course you can scale down the number of steps. So here we're still skipping this top row, but then as I scale down the number of steps, it's not gonna get to the end. So here it's getting to the very end, but as I scale it down, gets further and further away from that end point until it just plays that first one. There's probably a bug there, but whatever. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, there's You can randomize the gate, so you can kind of go nuts there, and you can randomize the step. And as we saw, you can randomize the pitch. If you randomize this one, it just changes all the knobs, the pattern, the steps, the clock, which 
I don't find that useful when you have tons of UI. So you can initialize the patch, get it all back to normal. Hear a bunch of thumping, randomize the pitch. Turn the clock up a bit, and then you got a fairly reasonable patch. One of the things I was thinking about is actually randomized is putting all these random things as uh, as as not as uh, parameters, knobs with control voltage. That way you could uh, do an LFO to every once in a while randomize the pitch or randomize the gate or randomize the skip. With the pitch randomization, it'd be kind of neat to have like a min and max kind of a parameter that you could see at LFO too. That'd be kind of interesting. Uh, one other thing I forgot to mention is what these X and Y guys do, if you're not familiar. So if you hook up your gate to just X, for example, and let's bring it back to the spiral, X is only going to fire when this guy moves in the X direction. He's not going to fire when he goes down. So watch right, right here. See, there's no firing of, the, of this X gate. And Y, likewise, is only going to fire when, the, when it moves in the Y direction. So you can kind of get, um, this is inspired by Renee. Renee does a kind of logic. Um, so you can kind of get interesting beats going on if you hook up stuff to just X or just Y. But if you just want to play no matter what, just hook it up to X or Y, and then it'll play all the time. So that's a look at that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any feedback, features you want to add, bugs you found, and so on. I may or may not get to them. But it's all open source, so you can certainly clone the source and edit it yourself if you're a programmer. If not, ask a programmer to do it for you. Alright, thanks for watching. See you next time.